and he just started walking. And my brother was just going, oh my goodness, I know I'm going to hear a gunshot. I know I'm going to hear it. He was just waiting for the gunshot. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. Sometimes I cook. Most of the time I cook. Sometimes I'm just going to tell you guys a story. And this is a very interesting story, something that happened about, I want to say, 25 years ago. And it happened to my brother and his wife. And I got their permission to tell this story. It's a very interesting story. So first things first, I got to tell you, my my brother and his wife are an interracial couple. Okay, they're an interracial couple. Uh, she's black. He's Hispanic. Okay. Now, they had at that time a niece and a nephew on my sister-in-law's side. Uh, it was her sister's kids. And uh, they were small. And my brother and his wife... They would take them around with them all the time. They didn't have kids at that time. And the kids were really small, so they were real close to these kids. So one time, they happened to be at a mall or something, and they took a picture with the kids. Now, if you look at the picture, because my my sister-in-law, she's kind of fair-skinned, and um, these kids look like they could be their kids. <laughs> so anyway, my brother had that picture in his wallet all the time. It was just something something crucial to the story okay so one day my brother and my sister-in-law my brother takes her to her job she he drops her off at work she says call me when you get home so that i know that you got home safe <clears throat> so he's driving and uh his car breaks down so he's on the freeway and he and he's off on the side and this car stops and Okay, in the car was a Caucasian female, a black man, and a white guy, a white man, okay? And so, from what my, my brother gathered is that the black guy and the white girl were a couple. That's what he gathered. But anyway, they stopped, and they said, hey man, what's going on? And and he says, oh, you know, he goes, my, you know, yeah, he, go, he goes, uh, my car broke down. And then they, t they went, we got a gun, get in our car. And uh, so my brother was like, holy she's okay. So he, he got in the car. <clears throat> so the girl is driving. The two guys are in the back and they have a gun to his side. So at one point, you know, they, so they said, get down. So they made my brother do this. And, and they made him go down like that. So, you know, at a certain point when you're like that, you can't breathe. And so he picks himself up because like, I'm having a hard time breathing. And they go, we don't care, you know, get down. So they were very aggressive. So eventually they took him to a, a like an abandoned field out in the middle of nowhere. And so my bro they said, give me, give me your wallet. So the black guy is talking to my brother and he says, give me your wallet. So my brother says, okay, here, you know, he goes, do me, you know, take, take whatever you want. Take your, take all the cash. Can you just give me back my pictures? Because they're important to me. He said that then the black guy, he looked at the pictures and he saw that my brother's wife was black. And then he saw the two kids. And I guess he thought, maybe he thought that the kids were theirs and I guess in his mind, it st struck a chord or something. So he just goes, here's your wallet. Took the money. Took Here's your wallet. He goes, start walking. Start walking that way. So my brother turned around and he just started walking. And my brother was just going, oh my goodness, I know I'm going to hear a gunshot. I know I'm going to hear. He was just waiting for the gunshot. And instead, he heard a screeching car going the opposite way. So when my brother turned around, they left. And my brother finally got home. I don't know. I don't know if he called a cab. I don't know what how he got home. And uh, so my, my sister-in-law had called and said, how, you know, are you home? You know, what happened? <clears throat> and so uh, finally he calls her back and he goes, she, he goes, yeah, my car broke down. Uh, I'll tell you about it when you get home. And so when she finally got home, 
that's when he told her the whole story. And he, he said to my, my brother said to his wife, I know that picture saved my life because his facial expression, he looked at it and I think his girlfriend was the white girl that was in the car. He go, and um, my sister-in-law was telling me this story about a year after it happened, she was telling me and I remember her, you know, crying as she was telling me. And I was like, I can't believe that my brother was abducted. He was kidnapped. That was just amazing. Now, I called them earlier today and I got their permission to tell this story. And uh, but it just amazes me how what what things happen to some people. And thank God they they didn't do anything to him. I don't know. But you know what? Just to add on to that story, it was around that same time that I had an interview for my first big job with a big company. So I was semi-dressed up and I had gone. I, I think I might have been 20 years old at that time. I was 20. So I went and I was coming back from that and I was on the freeway. My car broke down. And I remember... At that time, they had call boxes. And so, you know, I, they didn't have the cell phone. So I went to the call box and I said, can you call my dad? And and uh, this is where I'm at. I'm uh, by this number or whatever, exit, whatever. And so they called my father. <clears throat> then this car, I was right here and this car coming by and it stopped right in front of my car. And this black man and a white man got out of the car and they go, you need some help? And and I looked at them, and then all of a sudden I turned around, and my dad just pulled up the same time. And and I go, oh, I go, that's my dad. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know any better. I'm just like a ding dong. I'm only 20. I thought they were just good Samaritans. I bet you they was the same guys. I And who knows what would have happened to me? I mean, I don't know. I mean, you just never know. This life is weird that way. I mean, that really, something could have happened. It could have been the same, guys. It was the same freeway, the exact same freeway. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, that was a story that I remember my uh, my sister-in-law telling me that story. And um crazy thing that happened to my brother. So anyway, okay, so this is just another story. If you want to hear some more stories, go to my playlist under stories. I have uh, quite a few interesting stories to tell. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. And I still cook on this channel. Lots of recipes too.